bạn chân rương tiền on bảy mươi mấy bạn tiền toàn chỉ trả phí chia trong đại trong vàng cho cho khi tha cà phê này này miền ở đại phí on miền pro 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 hai quả toàn được trong vàng hai quả máu Hi, I'm Antonio Grisefo, author of the book The Monk from Brooklyn and host of the web TV show Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we are in Phnom Penh, Cambodia and we're learning about Khmer language and we're going to be using the ALG method or more accurately ALG concepts. ALG is Automatic Language Growth Theory and the idea is that we don't translate and we don't learn grammar and we don't memorize vocabulary. We're going to learn a foreign language strictly through context. So today's context is going to be an ancient Khmer story. Dân dân khuyên thả Mới cứ chìa rụt vẹn Rồi bỏ sạch khả mai Chân khuyên sạch khả mai có bà luôn là tình năng Sạch khả mai Sạch sạch đoàn sạch bỏ Cọt khả mình con sọ Sạch sạch đoàn sạch bỏ Cọt khả mình con sọ I'm going to read the story once in English Then I'm going to have my Khmer counterpart come up and read it in Khmer language And then we're going to tell the story through pictures and we're never going to translate any of the words or tell you what any of the words mean. We want you to keep guessing and guessing and guessing at the meanings of the words. And this is the idea behind ALG. If you listen to a native speaker speaking the language for 800 hours, you'll process all of the pronunciation, the grammar rules, everything will be there. But we don't learn it through grammar rules, we don't learn it through memorizing vocabulary lists, we learn it through context and usage. The story is called Soben Komar, and this is an ancient story of Khmer. It's about an old king in the old days. At an earlier time, there was a king named Pakron Tak Takpak, Pakron Takpak, reigning in Korsampi Kingdom. He had a wife named Kisar Meledevi, but had no children. In this kingdom, there also lived a husband and a wife who were millionaires. Later, his wife delivered a baby boy. Amazingly, on the first day of his birth, the baby boy was, was able to eat a ladle full of food. The second day, two ladles full, and at the end of one month, 30 ladles full. Soon, the stingy millionaires were frantic with worry for fear that they would at a future time become poor. Our son is a very unfortunate baby, the husband talked to his wife. If we still continue to raise him, our wealth will be lost because of him. Therefore, the husband and wife decided to abandon him at a crematorium. ការដើមឡើយមានព្រះមហាសាបមួយអង្គព្រះនាមបារម្ភ Tại trong lạy nha, về đại cầu nút cát một nông thay đồng bốn, kế nhâm ả hà bán mùi về. Ngay tí phí nhâm phí về. Rồi hốt đó là hà mùi khai kế nhâm ả hà đo tư xam sụp về. Tiếp cho ai. Sẽ thấy cầm nánh xuất ní, có các đây rùi bà rộng nha. Rùa bộ quát hay khai trò lục bà. Tới thay cầu ai. Tớp đây bị cựu nâng phụ bốn thà Con dương ní chia tìa rũa trong rầy Áp bộ mẹng con nà Bà chân châm vía to tử tiết Trọp xâm bát trang phần mán Một chia vị ní hân hỏi đói Sa vía mần khán Đối chân á Pí nẹ bà đây phụ bốn Có xâm ra chất Bấy con tự đạn chào nơi tì bà chà but now I'm going to tell this story as I remember it in simple English. And then I'll have my counterpart, Sai Ha, tell the story in simple Khmer the way he remembers it. So remember, this is not a translation. This is just providing context. In other words, once you know the story in English, it's much easier to listen to it in Khmer and begin to learn. So here's the story. Long, long ago, in a kingdom called Khorsan Pi, there was a king named... Pokran Takpak and the Queen, Kesar Miala Devi. And they had no children. In the same kingdom, there was a poor couple. See, they have no money. It's a poor couple. And there's a rich couple, millionaires. 
and they have no children. One day, the wife has a baby. And on the first day the baby is alive, he's able to eat one spoonful of rice. Later, he's able to eat two spoonfuls of rice. Eventually, he can eat 30 spoonfuls of rice. And now, the husband begins to worry. He's worried because if they keep the baby, they're going to lose all their money because it costs too much to feed him. So he says to his wife, wife, this baby is very unlucky. And they decide that they're going to take the baby to the temple and they're going to leave the baby next to the crematorium. And this is a crematorium in Cambodia when uh, people die. And this is a crematorium in Cambodia when people die, they bring them to the temple and they're burned in the crematorium. And when you abandon babies, you also abandon them beside the crematorium. And that's the story so far. <laughs> ຍັງເຄີຍຖ້າໃນក្នុងແຫວງຍັງມີເອີ່ອປະຊາຊົນມຸດຄົວສາໄດ້ໃຫ້ນັງປະພົນພວກກໍແຕ່ງປີຄື